Well, as you look outside right now with our downtown uh, look here from our Windsor Sky Cam, and we have mostly sunny skies. So if you're off on the east side, you're probably thinking, what are you talking about? But we do have just a couple little isolated cells that have developed. Nothing severe, but a few little pockets of heavy downpours, but a beautiful look at the Detroit River at this lunch hour where we sit almost at 80 degrees already in Detroit. So City Airport reporting 79, but Ann Arbor at 75, 77 in Pontiac and Monroe. Northwesterly winds for the most part, although a little variable in Ann Arbor, but we're still on the lighter side around five to close to 10 miles per hour. So your car wash planner is still giving you the yellow light for this afternoon because we do have a spotty chance on radar that we're going to look at in just a second. Otherwise, a really dry air mass builds in for your Thursday and Friday. And so we will have the clear conditions to get your car washed. Not only Thursday, but we're going to take that all the way into the weekend. But to get your money's worth, tomorrow's the best day. So exact track 4D, I've been time lapsing it to show you how a couple of these showers have bubbled up. So this is only a time lapse of the last hour. So just a little more than 30 minutes ago, it wasn't even on radar and then developed right into the Lansing area. We'll zoom in a little closer. I've circled this little pocket for you from Charlotte to Owasso. That's pushing mainly to the east southeast. So if you're in Livingston County, you might end up getting one of these showers in your neighborhood over the next probably hour or so if it doesn't fizzle out before it reaches you. So this is a really weak little front that's creating a little more instability with these isolated chances. So very isolated and scattered. For the most part, we'll stay dry, but humidity will be dropping big time tomorrow, along with temperatures as we're only in the 70s, so dropping about 10 degrees below average. Though, after all that heat and humidity, most of us probably aren't complaining with that little reprieve from the heat. So, hourly forecast, we will be right around 80 degrees for the next few hours, and then sliding into the 60s after sunset, and that will not stop there. We'll continue to slide, and we'll talk temps in a minute, but as far as those scattered, isolated chances, they last through the afternoon. That's a little look at 3 o'clock, and a little spot speckly and spotty heading into the early part of the evening before we do dry things out heading into tonight and peel back that cloud cover. So as that drier air mass builds in, muggy meter heading in the right direction, going downward. And then as far as what we're looking at over the next few days, we're clearing out the cloud cover and we will have some sun along with the drier air. Little cool down tomorrow and we'll have temperatures in the 50s overnight where you can give the AC a break and open the window. And then we're welcoming back low 80s for the long haul here and we'll have a mix of sun and clouds entering a nice dry stretch.